So note of historical significance, if in World War II you were a uh, dark-skinned individual, African-American or otherwise, and you wanted to join the Marine Corps, you could. You would, ha however, not be sent down to Paris Island, South Carolina. You instead would be sent to Montford Point here. All the Marines that were not white were sent here to train at Montfort Point. That was an interesting time, and it was sad they were segregated, but they have proven many times over absolutely valuable in battle, heavily decorated, awards and distinctions for honor, and this, boys and girls, is the Montfort Point Marine Memorial. That's a big guy up there. But considering what they did in World War II, I would say the uh, size compared to my friend here, the fireman, is absolutely appropriate. Because they were bigger than life. And they were completely awesome. Twenty thousand African American men enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, 1942 to 1949. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a hell of a sculpture. And I can't even imagine crawling up something heavily wooded like that, trying to stay low, trying to keep your leggings clean, <laughs> and trying not to get shot. And temp racial tensions did change over time. That's a fabulous thing. No reason to have hate in your heart just because a man has a skin color. It's a little bit different from yours. That shit is ridiculous. Woo! With artillery? Oh, tis better to give than receive. And this was an 8-1-A-1, 90 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. That will certainly ruin a pirate's weekend. 25 rounds a minute. Wow. That's a good looking piece of kit right there. But that's certainly not going to be man portable. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see anything like this in the Halo kind of scenario before too much longer. I hope not.